morning, you guys. It is currently, every single clock in my kitchen says something different. It is currently 8.07 a.m. Um, I just fixed my half of the bed, Brian's still in bed. I'm about to start on my Wednesday chores, which is vacuuming. Only this time I'm gonna start on the other side. So because Brian is asleep, I'm gonna start on the other side of the house. Vacuuming, the boys are gathering up their comforters because it's time for them to be washed. I wash, their, I wash our bed stuff once a month. If you think that's nasty, that's on you. That's just what works for me. Now, mine and Brian's bed stuff, I wash about every two weeks or so, every week. So their bed stuff is getting washed today, and then I'm gonna vacuum. And so I will see you guys afterwards. I wanna make some sourdough pancakes because this bad boy's about to overflow. So we're gonna make some sourdough pancakes today. And yeah, I'm about to start vacuuming. Oh, I need to straighten up the living room first. So I'm gonna do that first. mix this on TikTok. Um, I'll probably do a recipe video, but I'm gonna show you guys the recipe right here. Keep in mind, I doubled everything because I want to put some in the freezer. So you're gonna need one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth cup of sugar. You're gonna mix it together dry first, and then you're gonna add your wet ingredients. Two eggs, half a cup of milk, one fourth cup of Greek yogurt. You can use any yogurt. Greek yogurt is what I chose to use for extra protein one and one fourth cup of your, or one and what, one and a half cups of your sourdough starter and one teaspoon of vanilla, which is something that I forgot. So I'm gonna put two teaspoons of vanilla because like I said, doubling the recipe. Vanilla is always so hard to open. Oh well, I'll just make TikTok ask for the recipe videos so I have more content that they want to see. So I forgot one cup of starter. hand mixer like an electric one but I just don't it makes a mess like there's like no in between it's all it's either like full throttle or off and seeing how full this bowl is we'll just whisk it by hand all right you guys we got the mess cleaned up and now we are on to cooking. I'm so glad I have a griddle because anytime the family wants pancakes, I've been having to use like a one single little pan and y'all. And let me tell y'all my trick to making pancakes is when the bubbles on top stop, no, that rhyme. When the bubbles on top stop, that's when I know they're ready. That's how I know they're ready to flip. 
Um, I also worked at Whataburger for years. And so I had to, like, I was a cook. And so I got pretty good at making pancakes, so. Now it is a, a tiny bit hard with these um, sourdough pancakes because sourdough alone is bubbly, like you can see it in the bowl. But you see, that one wasn't quite ready. So I'm gonna give these ones a few more minutes. I turned up the heat a little bit. And then I gotta remind myself to be careful. It has like the hole right there. Luckily, I did go ahead and put this little, my little pad under there. But yeah, making some pancakes and we're also gonna freeze some of them too. So that's why I made so much. I doubled my recipe. So I'm gonna freeze some because the boys asked for pancakes like literally all the time. So you see this one has all the bubbles in the center. How you know the bubbles this one hasn't bubbled and then a way you can tell it's done on the other side is by pushing down and if it doesn't bounce back it's not ready They're ready, I just want a little more, uh-oh, color on them. Let's see this one. Alright, I'll see you guys once the pancakes are all done. Alright you guys, so if you're wondering, I ended up making 26 pancakes. So now I'm going to go ahead and feed the boys. And then get the rest of these ready to freeze. So that's what I'm about to do now. And then this is how we serve breakfast. I just Hello. give them their plates and then throw the fruit and veggies in the middle that they want or usually eat. Now i got to buy some Hi. more baby carrots. Hi. should have bought some yesterday. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's up? You guys, breakfast is cleaned up. I even fed and cleaned the sourdough's bowl and then I put a little line and I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow morning before I feed it because I just fed it. And I can't believe I used three cups of this today. I used three cups and it's still this full. Oh my gosh, so yeah. And I need to figure out a way to get it out without making the sides all dirty and stuff. Cause that's, I don't know, that bothers me. I like whenever it looks like that. But yeah, now I'm about to work on our calendar, get all the bills and stuff put on there. And I need my phone for that. So I'll see y'all when I'm done with that. <laughs> all right, you guys, calendar is done for this month. Going over joy. All right, so that is the calendar for the month. And then, Kitchen is finally all done, put together. Oops. Excuse me. Yeah, those are Ethan's Pokemon cards. He needs to come get them. Ethan! Come get a Pokemon card! Come get a Pokemon card! Sourdough sitting over there looking lovely. I need to take out something for dinner, but I don't know what I want to cook. I don't know. We'll see. I have another hour. I'll think on it. But now I'm about to go to the room or go to the office, and I need to get the boys curriculum together so that's what i'll be doing for the next hour to two hours get one no. get one his eyes are open his eyes are open his eyes are open his eyes are open, his eyes are open. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad they like to try new things. All right, you guys, so we are back home. I'm back at it with, let me zoom y'all out. Back at it with the binders. So, so far I have Bryson's, um, I have his shapes and tracing. So he just practices a lot of handwriting over here, but also learns how to just draw his shapes. And then we got all the, 
number stuff done. All of this. And if you're wondering where I got all of this, it's from this about preschool.net. That doesn't bother me. It's free, whatever. And yeah, so it's just a lot of like things like this that I really like for preschool. And so now I'm working on his letters and then for Bible and social studies, we make copies of those out of books. So time for me to get back to it, y'all. All right, you guys, I have officially finished the boys curriculum and you guys don't even want to know what time it is. So I remember I started at 12, worked on it, or I started at 11, worked on it until, hold on, let me see what time my mom texted me. Good morning, you guys. So do y'all hear how loud that tea kettle is? That tea kettle is so loud and that's probably the only thing I don't like about the beautiful tea kettle. It is so flipping loud. Ugh, this debug gets stuck under this chair at least 30 times. Y'all know what? I'm so excited to do school today because I got all that curriculum ready. I'm ready for it, but um, Brian's not feeling well, so I'm about to make him some tea, but this is what I really wanted to show y'all. So as long as your sourdough has bubbles, you know it's healthy, and then remember that's kind of where the line was yesterday, so you could see like, it did rise a little bit, it's that lower line, so it was right there, so it rose a little bit, we're gonna feed it again today. Our day starts. I'm about to feed the sourdough. Um, I'm gonna do some other random little chores like cleaning the TVs, and I need to bathe Optimus, and then the boys need a bath this morning. So I'm gonna do all of that once they wake up. I wish that tea kettle wasn't so dang loud. I feel like that's gonna wake up the boys. But yeah, after I clean the TVs and stuff. I'm gonna do my reading right the word and then bring Optimus in to feed him. I mean to bathe him and then feed him. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do now. Well, that took a turn. I was only supposed to fix their beds, but whatever. So now I'm gonna bathe Optimus and then do my reading, write the word, and then get dressed for the day. So I'll see you guys after that. Ow. All right, you guys, we are here at the vehicle registration office. I've been asking Brian since last month to take care of this for me, but you know, he gets so busy at work, I understand. So just doing it myself. So we are here to get the car re-registered. go and we're not running around in here this is not a playground we are not yelling in here we are not at home crazy y'all we're done i hope it's not a long wait you guys we were literally in there for like what five minutes not even like three two to three minutes we were in there got that registration so i don't know do y'all like seeing when i do everyday stuff like this because i know some people come to youtube like to, like escape everyday life do you like seeing my everyday life? But then someone might see this and be like, dang, I need to re-register, get my car registered, especially if you're in Texas. Every year, every year. So if you got them 2022 tags on your car, and I need to go get new lights. So I think I'll do that next. New, um, A new headlight and a new blinker. So I think I'm gonna go do that now. Buckle up. Yeah, me too, me too. All right, you guys, so we did it at Sam's Club. We only spent 93 bucks. So now I'm at Target and my budget is 50 bucks and the boys have their own money to get them a toy. Literally all I need from Target is a good lotion for Brian and I. Um, Brian asked for a body oil, so I'm gonna try to find a really good one. And then I need freezer bags. And why do I feel like I, I made a list today and then I forgot the whole list. But Ethan, help me remember the list. Glue sticks. Glue sticks. Freezer bags. Freezer bags. Lotion. Lotion body oil body oil and body wash and did i say freezer bags 
Okay. And then I'm gonna look at the juice and chocolate milk here because yeah. Sam's Club does not have any and the ones that they do have are either super, super unhealthy or they're like this big. So yeah, that's not big enough for my kids. Let's go. All right, so if you guys have not been to Target, y'all really need to go because like all of their like beauty section, they have insane clearance items. Like I got the Elf powder foundation for $3 and then I got one of the Elf concealers for $2. Then I also got I got some nice skincare products for like three dollars, five dollars, and also some essential oils that were on sale too that are usually like sixteen, twenty dollars. So yeah, about to check out and then we're gonna head home. And I don't think I did too bad. Got everything that I came for and that I remembered on my list. <laughs> hey guys. So it is 10 o'clock, I believe. Yeah, 10 03. So I'm about to do my stretch video as always. Um, and that I'll be done right around like 10 25, 10 30. Take my shower, get out of the shower at about 10 45, get in bed by 10 50, 11 o'clock. Like that's just my nighttime routine. I'm trying to get it to where I go to bed a little bit earlier, but right now my body's just trained to do your cleaning routine at 9, do your stretching at 10 shower at 10 30 and then get in bed right after that so that's kind of what i'm trying to do but my video i'm so proud of myself i did get today's video up there this week's vlog which was from last week the 16th through the 21st i believe i vlogged 16th through the 21st went ahead and got that vlog up and so that means that now that today is friday i really do not believe i'm gonna vlog tomorrow so i'm actually going to do a proper I will vlog for TikTok. So like I said again, I daily vlog for TikTok Monday through Saturday. So if there's anything like maybe in my vlogs I'm missing a day. Because I know for instance for the 16th through the 21st, I did kind of like I just updated you guys on Thursday. And then like I completely didn't vlog Friday or all day Saturday and just vlogged a little bit of Saturday night. So if you guys really ever want to see like those gaps that are missing in my youtube vlogs like check out tiktok and then i'm telling tiktok the same thing like if you want to see the full or like the more lengthy vlog like really go step by step throughout my day then they need to follow me on youtube so it's like give and take there's different footage on both things like they both kind of sum up the same thing but i chat a lot more obviously here on youtube but i think it'd be a good idea for you guys to follow me on tiktok also because like i said there's days where it's easier for me to just pick up the camera and like film little two to five second clips and compile them together and then just do a voiceover on days that are hard for me to just do life so yeah but i love you guys always remember that jesus loves you more i will be ending this vlog and i will see you guys on monday i really need this weekend off from being on my phone so that's another big reason because i don't even think i'm gonna vlog for um saturday on tiktok i really don't so we'll see what i upload on monday for tiktok maybe nothing i might take off saturday sunday and monday i don't know we'll see we shall see but yeah i love you guys always remember that jesus loves you more and like i said i'll see you guys next week bye your eyes tell me that you don't want to leave just yet no my eyes agree it's almost like when we first met